But yeah, we've I had three good is, sets for three of our top is, players. Is this Zane? Am I crazy? Or no, that's, that's, that's him standing in the background. I was like, yeah. is he sitting down? Oh my no, god. No, that's uh, it looks like we have Afterburner uh, Esports Geo. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to and see Jade. Jade. Yeah, so wow. we've got Purdue versus it's kind uh, Evans, of IU. Though. Well Geo considers himself IU. Yeah. Um <laughs> Geo has been in a bit of a character crisis recently, uh, as he was in all of Smash 4. Except Until for, Bayo, yeah. Well, he's always played Bayo, but he's always like, I don't main Bayo, I hate Bayo. But then he would play Bayo to win. <laughs> he's like, I hate Bayo, I don't want to play her. Except mm -hmm. for when I'm trying to do good in tournament bracket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Jade, obviously being one of the head TOs of Purdue yeah. scene. Purdue always making it a point to come out to this. The closest major to them. Yeah. You got to come out to support. Um, I... I don't know who either of them are going to play. Geo has a wolf. Jade, I think, has been playing. I thought Jade had been playing wolf. I don't know who Geo's been playing, though. I, I gotta, I'll gotta. i have to like look at one of the uh, the Purdue brackets where they've uh, seen who he's playing. Because like I said, Jade used to play Duck Hunt, which Duck Hunt in this game is actually really, really good. But I actually don't think he's yeah, played Duck think, Hunt I think at, at the end of Smash 4, he started playing Marth. Yeah, I do remember controls. that. And then Geo has played Greninja, has played Wolf. He played Inkling for like the first month. I just miss old, uh, <laughs> I just miss like the first week of Smash because the hype for every character was so real. Yeah, all right, so now, I just, I, yeah, I got no clue on e who either of these guys are playing. Um, but this is definitely going to be a much closer set, hopefully. Uh, yeah, this. Yeah, th I think this is a this is a this is a much more this is more of a, a what round two looks like in a pool where both players are pretty even. Where instead we had uh, our flown out talent essentially so far is pretty much played. Yeah, just kind of tossing the low, <laughs> their their early bracket runs. Yeah, you know you've got you've got wow, the number one seed Roy. playing. Awesome. We've essentially only gotten Crom's Roy, and yeah, Roy's, Crom's and and Roy's this whole time. In a Toon Link, ooh, finally a different character. Hey, that's uh, that's pretty awesome. And I know that uh, Geo and uh, Trivium are really good friends. And Trivium used to play Toon Link a lot in Smash 4, especially whenever Bowser wasn't working out. So he's got a really good training partner. So it'll be interesting to see um, how Jake handles these projectiles, especially Toon Link being really fast in this game. Just like he was in four. I mean, yeah, he can keep the pressure up and he can stay away from uh, Rory. Who normally his biggest advantage is his movement mm -hmm. and being able to stay on top of you. And Geo just hitting the bread and butter combos, a lot of up tilts and up tilts, and then up air to finish it off. Yeah, ooh, nice, uh, nice little play right there on the bomb, but not really able to follow mm -hmm. anything up with it. Ooh, I really like how roll. Jade did the dancing blade up to force a tech situation yeah. on the top platform. That was super smart from him. Yeah, and that forward smash, man, right there, uh, almost killing him. 40. The back uh, throw. Now, let's see what Geo does. Yep, the ooh, bomb toss ooh. is going to hit, but he's, yeah, he's not going to kill yeah, that. Still save his jump. A little bit of awkward trying to punish right there. Jake could have got the kill, but just misspaced himself a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just going for the up B. An up B in neutral, not the best tool. Yeah. Uh, I don't even think that would have killed at this percent. I mean, I guess his up B is kind of fast, but yeah, but back the back air, air will, will take it. Uh, so that's not going to take it, but... No, but see, he's put him in an awkward I think, situation. I think one thing that we need to see Geo do more is instead of just throwing bombs off stage, which is good to get percent, is not good to kill because those bombs don't have good knockback. Uh, so I think we need to see Geo maybe every once in a while going off stage, tossing out a forward air, back air. Yeah, uh, pressuring, air. pressuring the ledge uh, a little bit yeah. differently than bombs, because a lot of times it seems like the bombs are really not netting him anything. Yeah. I think the I think the thing is is you have to find that good mixture of being able to use the bombs to to pressure the ledge, and then you yeah. pressure them while they're trying to get to the ledge to uh, make them go into the bomb, you know? And this matchup feels pretty tough for Toon Link, honestly. Roy has the speed to get around his projectiles. Uh, and Toon Link sucks when his opponents is dealing with them up close, and that's how Roy yeah. wins. Very yeah. true. Nice Just dancing blade, too. Dancing to blade take. covered a lot of options. Yeah. Uh, we get a little bit from the crowd of Purdue boys cheering uh, for Jade. <laughs> Yeah, they've got to come through. Like I said, the crew battle is tonight, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And I, I imagine Jade will probably be a representative for uh, Purdue. Whoa. Oh, no, nice right there. Ooh. And it's pretty even. Uh, 
I think it's gonna rely. See, one thing that I don't like that Geo's doing is he's he's approaching, and that's yeah. not where Toon Link thrives. But I will say this: sometimes doing the thing that they don't think you'll do is what you have to do. You know? Yeah, but he's been doing it. He's been doing it the whole time. So to me, it just doesn't. At this point, it's not. Ooh, in a oh, lot of awkward. spaghetti right there. Yeah, I was about to say the. Uh, the grab just the wrong way just looks so goofy when it misses. The, the worst part is, though, is that it's so long and it gives you a lot of time to punish, but a lot of people don't punish it because they're so, like, unready to punish something that doesn't work well like that. Like, he was holding shield, it was the perfect time to grab, but it was just the wrong the wrong way. And Jim's kind of seeming nervous. He's rolling a lot. Yeah. He had, like, right there, he had a free jab, he had a free grab, he had free, like, six things, but he instead went for a roll away. All right, yeah, what's the punish here? Geo is a madman. That, wow. was, <laughs> that was I don't I think we've seen Geo grab maybe twice this set. And uh Toon Link's grab, not bad. Yep, that yeah. forward air is gonna take it. Yeah, definitely getting the uh, the meaty hitbox right on that too, so. No. Yeah, one thing that we need to see from Geo next game, yeah. assuming we don't get a character swap, which I'm assuming we are, uh, maybe. is he needs to play it further away. That's it, Roy, Roy's yeah. bread and butter, like I said, his bread and butter is being close to you, getting in your face, and getting those nice... Oh, yep, yeah, going Lucina. Wow, two sorties now. Well, I mean, technically, we had two sorties the game before. <laughs> Toon Link's not a sortie. He's not, he's not a conventional one. But it, is, it will be interesting now he can, uh, like you said, if he's going to play the up-close style like he was with Toon Link, now he's lost all the disadvantage of that. Now he's playing yeah. a real character that can play up close like that and uh, not necessarily get punished as easily. That up smash, very poor choice. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't anywhere near him. So one thing that Jade's getting a lot of mileage off of is Geo does a lot of neutral get-ups and even some uh, hopping off the ledge and then trying to do like a forward air or something. Yeah. And his dancing blade is covering it and beating it every single time. Oh, yeah. Yep, but... That forward smash will take it every time. No I... tipper on that. It's just consistent. Yeah, hey, I think the best thing about like Lucina and Mars neutral B is not necessarily that when it breaks shield, but when it just gives them that serious poke like it did earlier. Because I think that a lot of times puts the other player on notice. Because mm -hmm. now they're like, okay, well now I don't have a shield. So then you can force them into a weird situation like that, and uh, Dio has adapted really well to that and just took the first stock, so. Yeah, definitely. So now we see Geo. Now he's playing defensive. Now that he has a lead, he's kind of just trying to get away from Jade. Yeah, Geo, not afraid of the timeout. Actually, known for timing people out quite a bit. Yes, but that is also that was also with Bayo. So it'll be interesting. I don't think he's I don't think he's timed anyone out in Smash Ultimate, especially with it being a uh, eight minute timer. Eight minute timer. Please don't. Yeah. Um, See, Geo, one, Geo has the bad Smash 4 habit of not going for edge guards. And instead, yeah, he, he yeah, could have gone on there. Especially had, had against Jade Roy, had the air yeah. dodge or just take any hits, Jade would have been dead. If Jade didn't have the time to throw out a forward air because he would have been too low. Yeah. But instead, Geo's just standing at. he He's not going low. Yeah, he is playing it extremely safe. I think he's just worried about uh, catching the uh, the carry up against the stage and getting like maybe a weird stage bike or something. But that is something, like you said, mm -hmm. in this game, uh, especially if you accidentally directional air dodge, it's over. You're dead. Yeah. Especially with Roy. So it is something where I think he should be going out there and pressuring, like you said. I mean, Yeah, especially because Jade's recovered the same way every time. He saves his jump and then he goes as low as possible. Yeah. And it, it it's just not worth it. It's working phenomenally for Jade, but Geo going for the down tilt two frames is just bad. Ooh. That, yep, Jade finally getting punished for his abundance of dancing blades. <laughs> um, All right, Geo yeah. waiting. That's, that's Ooh, that, another thing. That, that was really forward, smart. He had the read on the forward smash. I just don't think he got the roll distance right, which yeah. is unfortunate for Jade because he even had the timing correct, too. And all he got out of it was getting up tilted. That is the thing, a lot of times when you see players just sitting at the ledge, you can kind of imagine, it's it's like, all right, they're taking a little bit of time, they're gonna do something like crazy. So you gotta react to something crazy. And uh, like I said, Jake just not necessarily being in the right mm -hmm. spot for the punish on what he was reading. Yeah. See, Jake, see, yeah, I think another both, thing, he's- Both of them. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is with him, I can understand him not going out as much, but what I don't get- Ooh, Ooh the two frame. Nice. Two frame trade, Gia living to 169%, surviving that long. A good three minute game there. Now, I don't think Jade is gonna switch, because I don't know of his other characters. Um, Honestly, Geo might switch even though he won. That's just something he likes to do. Yeah, well, the thing uh, is, the thing is that I noticed was, like, right there at the end, 
Jay was like jumping off the ledge to like pressure the ledge, but he didn't do anything. All he did was jump off the ledge. Mm -hmm. And, and it's we're like finally it's seeing a different character. Well, I guess we still have a Fire Emblem one in this. We've yeah. had a Fire Emblem character in every single game. But we get Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, which is this is who I thought Jay was going to play right out of the gate. I actually didn't know he uh, played Roy at all because I'm pretty sure I've only ever seen uh, the uh, top sevens at Purdue with him playing Pokemon Trainer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious as to why he started Roy against Geo, but... Uh, he might not like the uh, Tunic matchup in the Pokemon Trainer, so he just knew that he could pressure with the Roy. And then once he switched to Lucina, he's like, all right, I'm not going Swordsy against Swordsy. And, well, and another nice. thing might be Geo's training partner, Trivium, is a Pokemon Trainer man. Oh, really? And uh, that that's going to make it hard. That was a really good conversion of the up, B, or the up air into the up B. Jake throwing out up Bs left and right. Man, Ivysaur is so strong, yeah, man. That, <laughs> Jeez. that did well. That was a very, very good read on the normal get up, like man. I said earlier. I don't think there's one person in the venue that's not watching this right now. I looked over and was like, I don't think we're running close anymore. We I think everyone's <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Right. No. Uh, this uh, is looking rough for Geo. Uh, hopefully, is, he doesn't get bad in his head, but Jesus, yeah, that was a that nice is, dare. That is tough, man. That is one of the things is uh, Pokemon trainers, uh, Ivysaur, obviously, is, his down air is just so powerful at the ledge. Yeah, it covers, uh, the meme is that it covers about half the stage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yep, he got right. that. Definitely, definitely take that stock, but I mean, now he's just right back on the Ivysaur, but you're just back at it again, so. <laughs> back it would kill them twice. Yep, okay, but nice smash forward good. smash, yeah. But I was about to say, what's the ledge punish here? Just going to let Ivysaur get back pretty much for free right there. He actually held shield. Like he's, you can tell Geo's playing a little scared almost. Well, oh, I mean, he's got a whole crowd cheering against him. Yep, yeah, that, that's and there's that forward smash, man. Really good from Jate right there. Uh, I kind of like the counter pick meta right there. It was kind of like, you know, I'm not sure how uh, the Toon League would have fared against mm -hmm. Pokemon Trainer. I'm sure it would have uh, been pretty good. Yeah. But it, is, it was kind of interesting to see. Then the, the double fire emblem, obviously not working out for Jay, and then just uh, pulling out that. Not working out for me either. I yeah. don't want to watch that. 